Hello and welcome to another budget and leg it video. Today I'm going to do another tool review and this little gadget is fantastic. The amount of times this has saved me is is unbelievable. Can you guess what it is yet? Now we'll crack it open and what we have is a soldering iron. Now this is a gas soldering iron so it works basically off lighter fluid um, but the advantage is with it, it's just you're not tied to a lead. If you're underneath a dash trying to do some soldering or something like that, it is so easy to do and it is fantastic. You have, um, this is the main soldering tip and then you do have some other kind, this is like a flamethrower, um, little, sorry not a flamethrower, a little uh, blowtorch, that's what basically these are. These are just different length blowtorches. Um, and then we have a little hot knife then. I've never really used a hot knife to be honest. Um, I've only just really used the um, soldering iron. So basically with this one you get a flint tool with it and all you do is you turn the gas on and now as you can see that is now turned on. Takes a few seconds and this tip starts glowing. And obviously you have your solder but the best thing about this also um, what this is good for if you've got heat wrap as you can see here I've got some heat shrink this will also shrink the heat shrink for you as well now if you're underneath a car it's not really warm enough yet but you get the idea you can see it's moving now you're underneath a car you just soldered some wires together as you can see that is now shrunk the end of that heat shrink so, you know, once you've soldered wires together and your heat shrink, this will do everything for you. It just means you can get into places where you couldn't necessarily get into with a normal soldering iron with a lead. Um, they're just very, very handy for anything kind of like that. And even to be fair, even when, even if you're on a bench and you, you haven't got a normal soldering iron, well, these are just as good. The only problem with these is you can't uh, really control the heat as such out of them. You can kind of turn it down, but it doesn't really work that way. So for circuit boards and stuff like that, these are no good really, but they are very handy for connecting wires. You know, if, if you've got a broken wire under your dash or in your engine or anything like that, you know, solder, as you can see, oh, you know, simple as that really, there's nothing really to it. I'm going to show you the flamethrower one, flamethrower, I'm going to show the, I will now show you the um, little blowtorch. The hot knife is basically, does what it says, it's a little hot knife, um, use it for, sorry, this is a little hot knife um, you can use for cutting things and stuff. I've never really used it to be fair, so um, no point in really showing you that one. But the soldering tip and this little blowtorch tip, they're the two, they're the ones if you're gonna be buying something like this, they're the ones you'd be using. So what I'm gonna do is just screw the little blowtorch one on. Exactly the same, turn the gas on and use a little flint. And as you can see, we have a little blowtorch. Now again, you know, it's good for, um, now again, you have to be careful, you can see there, it will burn it. But again, it will, if you get it at the right distance, it will shrink the heat shrink for you as well. Um, this is also, you can use this for soldering as well, believe it or not. If you've got a heavier wire, um, the soldering tip might not actually do it properly. Now, you do have to be careful because there's a lot more heat coming out of this. But you can actually solder. So if... I hope you can see this now. I can actually melt that solder as you can see. Now it is a lot more, it's not as um, as neat as the soldering tip, but you can actually, you know, if you've got a thicker wire, that will solder it for you. It'll get you out of stuck anyway. Um, and if you heat shrink it afterwards, you know, you'll make a nice clean connection. So I would say these are kind of, um, you know, you're doing any, you are doing any kind of repairs on vehicles I, I would suggest buying something like that is kind of a must to be fair because they are they're brilliant really um now the price of them can depend um i can't remember the price of this one but i think it was quite expensive as such um but you, i have seen uh, cheaper ones out there to be honest 
and I've used them and I've never really had a problem with them. Um, <clears throat> I don't use it every day, maybe, you know, if you use it every day, you might kind of come across a problem, so maybe if you get a slightly better quality one, I'm not 100% sure, but to be fair, from what I've used of it, I can't really um, moan about it because it has been absolutely fantastic for me. Got me out of a lot of trouble and hopefully get you out of a lot of trouble as well. And again, it's basically, it does what it says on the tin. It's a portable soldering iron. Um, they have the uses, they have the disadvantages. You just fill it up from the back with um, lighter fluid. There's a little um, container here where you can actually see, you can see this is nearly empty, so you know when you're empty or not. But if you are in a tight place, believe me, this will get you out of a lot of trouble. Um, even if you only just use it a couple of times and it gets you out of the trouble, well then, you know, it's done its job really, hasn't it? Again, not much more I can really say about it. Um, it is what it is. It comes in a nice little case. So it means you can pack it away nice and neat. What I would say is you do, if you use anything like this, let everything cool down before you put it back. You don't want to leave red hot tips on that and put it down here because it could melt the plastic or if there's a problem it could actually blow up. So you need to make sure before you put this away, you have a, you know, it's nice and cold, you can touch it and you put it away. Just keep uh, soldering iron with it. This is out of another set. But, um, you know, it's amazing how quick you run out of that once you actually uh, start using it. And this is a heat blower. So this will actually blow heat. So this is... But again, you know, that is actually maybe slightly better, to be fair, than the blowtorch. Because, as you can see, it's a lot neater flame. So it means... You can even solder this, but it means you can actually... Um, you know it'd be a lot neater and you, you should build well you, you will be able to heat shrink with that as well if you just stand it back as you can see yeah that's going kind of fast so yeah so that's it very simple really very good bit of kit i would suggest you doing anything like that it is a, a good thing to have you might only use it a couple of times a year but i guarantee you when you use something like this you will love it and it will get you out of a lot of crap. So look, hope it helps. Thumbs up and subscribe. And don't forget, get your hands dirty. See you for the next one.